Welcome to another episode with Painting Beauty. Today we're going to take a look at Gill Ball. War Machine in sports form. So, this is it. This is not an unboxing, um, just very short. You get all everything you need in this uh, starter box. Two teams, rules, dice, tokens, gaming, uh, mat, slash board. Excellent to start in uh, and learn the rules. Good value for uh, for your money. My Mason team, Masons, Masons. Actually, they're not mine. I, I'm not gonna play with them. I painted. Oh, let's see. Sorry, I painted them up for a friend of mine. Uh, the business team, I painted them up um, a couple of days. Uh, it's been a very busy time for me. So it's a it's a tabletop standard uh, paint scheme. What? Still a little bit grey, I can't shake it. Too many marines, it's... Like uh, acid on my brain. I can't shake that gray color. But the, the minis are, are pretty decent. I must say it's um, it's strange kind of plastic. If you have played uh, Zombicide or uh, uh, yeah, some board games like that, it's the same material as uh, as that plastic. It's one sculpt. It's, it's one sculpt. You know, it's not, it's, it doesn't have any parts you have to glue together. Uh, and that's pretty nice, and, and you can toss them around and bend them, and they they won't break. Uh, because I've noticed that the other stuff from Guild Ball is metal, and I hate metal. But I guess I have to, yeah, swallow that camel, as we say in Norway. Eat my pride and just do it. Yeah, now I'm just rambling on. Um, this is Flint. This is maybe one of my favorite characters for this team. Uh, not because of his, not because of the character, but uh, his backstory. What? He says he's so dashing. He's so. It is the baby I took from Randor. <laughs> uh, incredible, pretty. He's a pretty boy. So he has a skill that uh, if. <laughs> um, if you're gonna tackle him or attack him or something like that, uh, and and if you are if the characters that that are attacking him is a male, uh, his defense, Flint's defense goes up. That's pretty funny. Anywho, yeah, it's a decent team. Um, nice models. I'm not gonna play with them, but I know they will be played with. That's what she said. <laughs> and that makes it all. Great. And yeah. Blah 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 blah. And I made this uh, goal marker for them. Uh, I think it was kind of a. I haven't had to fill in some uh, water effects inside as well. Uh, yeah, it looks it looks nice. It's so much better with a 3D goal goal post uh, rather than the, just a little uh, token. Looks much better. So the Masons team, um, ready for combat, I guess, and we will see, maybe I have to paint up some more minis for him in the future. But again, uh, the sisters, yes. good uh, sculpts, nice detail on this very cheap uh, plastic. Um, I think they've done a, a good job, I know. Yeah, uh, I also bought a, a, a gaming map, uh, a, a field, playing field. We're going to have a look at that now soon. And I can, since I'm not a lover of metal, I found one of the teams I want to play. It's called the Hunters. And I was so lucky that I found these guys on eBay in resin. Oh, so I just, oops. Here we go, yeah. And I uh, I bought this gaming mat uh, from Deep Cut Studios, which I have reviewed the products before. 
Didn't even get, get that. Thank you. Um, it's a nice piece of uh, of, uh, of a gaming mat, you know. Mouse pad material, good details. Um, I know that uh, Steamforge have their own gaming uh, gaming mat as well. I haven't seen them up uh, in the flesh. I don't know how they look, but um, these mats are a little bit more. Um, I say à la naturelle, not very much uh, guild ball stuff on them, uh, no logos or st things like that. So you can, f it's easy to fill uh, with the terrain that matches uh, forests and, and uh, rough terrain and hedges and all that stuff. So yeah, uh, it's a good piece. Uh, it will be fun to fill it with terrain when I can make some terrain to this. For this.